to set up our LAMP stack, we're going to have a test page just to know that everything's working okay. So in my Docker folder, I created a folder called test. And inside of there, there's just a PHP info page. So if we cat that out, we'll just see that it's a PHP info page. So that's going to be our test page to verify that the servers are working OK. If you haven't already done so, install Docker Compose. So to do that, you would do sudo apt install and then Docker Compose. I've already installed it. So we're going to basically just verify that it's installed, but it should skip that step. And sure enough, the newest version is installed. Notice that Docker Compose is at version 1.25. That'll be relevant here in just a minute. And now we're going to build the Compose file that'll set up the LAMP stack for us. In our Compose file, we have the different servers configured. Now here in the version, I have version 3.7. Technically, the latest version of Compose is 3.8, but recall that the version of Docker Compose that I have installed in my system was 1.25. And 3.7 is the latest version of the Docker Compose YAML that you can use with that version of Docker Compose. So I had to back it up to 3.7. And the reason that the version of Docker Compose is set to 1.25 is because that's what's available for this version of Ubuntu right now. So those have to match the version of Compose and the version of the Docker engine and the version of the YAML file all have to, to match. For services, I have a database and a web server, and my web server has PHP running. So for the MySQL version, I just used the one that's the latest. So remember this tag latest here in just a minute. And then for PHP, I used 7418 Apache because I wanted the web server component to be Apache. And then for the volumes, I said that the folder test, the one that I showed you, maps on the Apache server as var www.html, which is the default folder for Apache. And then we're going to say that ports local host 80 matches to the port 80 on the Apache server, and 443 local matches to the port 443 on the Apache server. Eventually, I'm going to use this LAMP stack to put Matilda on. So that's why I set the MySQL root password to Matilda. And I set the default authentication plugin to MySQL native password because I'm going to need those for Matilda later on. Now, back to what these tags mean. These images are being pulled from Docker Hub. And you have to put the name of the image and then the version that you want to pull down because for every image on Docker Hub, there's usually a bunch of different versions you can grab. So if we go over to Docker Hub, and let's say that we want to use the PHP official Docker image. Well, here's the PHP image, but it comes in different versions. So if I wanted a version that has Apache as the web server, I can filter by the tag Apache, and then I'll get the different versions that have the tag Apache. The one I want is just a regular old Apache. So I've got tag here, 7418 Apache available, and I've got 74 Apache available, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to take the latest version I can get of PHP with Apache, and that was the 7418. So when you come over to Docker Hub, you may find that there's an updated version or a different version that you want, and just filter and grab the tag for the version that you want. And that's what you'll end up putting over here in the tag to indicate which of the available PHP images specifically that you want to pull down. The same thing for MySQL. So if we come back over here and we look for the MySQL official Docker image, there's one for MariaDB you can use. There's one for MySQL you can use. If we go into the MySQL one as an example, one of the cool things is that the latest tag is supported. So we can just pull down the latest version. And as of right now, you'll notice that the latest tag is a 
associated with uh, 8.0.24. And so we'll, when we pull it down, that'll be the version that gets pulled down today. But of course the latest tag is always associated with the latest version. So it'll just pull whichever version that is at the time that you pull it down. All right, so now our small YAML file is ready to go with a database, a web server, and a PHP server. The ports are set up and we have a root password for our database. So we're ready to go. Also, we got our, our test file. Now we're gonna get the Docker Compose to run the Docker YAML file, which it does by looking for the phrase Docker Compose YAML. So all we really have to do is say Docker Compose up. And it's gonna look in the local directory for that file. It's gonna read it, grab the images that it has to grab from Docker Hub, and then it's gonna pull them down and then start them running again. So it, it's called the uh, container with MySQL DB1 and then it called the container with Apache PHP WWW1. Looks like everything started okay. Over here, we have localhost. We're gonna browse to localhost and there is our PHP info page. And the nice thing about using the PHP info page as your test page is it's gonna give you a lot of stats about the PHP that's installed and also um, let you know about the environment in general, which can help you with any kind of debugging 